There we go. All right, guys, welcome back to Worms, and we are back with another pun match from Deathwish808 and a load of crap. This match was recorded on the 2nd of May, and it's Deathwish808 who is going to get us underway in this match. The Worms are a little bit uneven. We've got two for Deathwish and one for a load of crap on the right side here, and everybody else is gathered up on that left hand yeah, side where there is a whole host of barrels and mines and fun shenanigans that I'm sure these guys are going to tap into anytime soon but Deathwish here to open us up he's pulling out the bazooka I think he's going to aim for the worms around the bottles here he's got to hurry up he's running the clock down but that's come short and he has actually damaged his own worm there unfortunately so not an ideal start there for Deathwish808. Let's see what uh, a load of crap's going to do. Who's, which worm is he going to be given? It is the worm up high. Now, um, I think he may try and attack the worm that is directly below him, just to the left there, the one on the shoe. It's surrounded by a couple of fire barrels, so I think that's going to be a pretty easy target. But as you can see... He is being tentative as he makes his way down this slope here. He doesn't want to obviously go too far down the slope and then end up in, uh, falling and missing his turn. But he's opting for a grenade shot here, it seems. We're only 15 seconds left on the shot counter. Two second time. He's going up and down. So maybe going for the one directly below him. He is. It's rolling, though. It rolled down the hill, and eventually he does get the worm on the shoe, destroying both of the barrels, and Deathwish is down by a single worm as we carry on over to the left-hand side. Now, are we going to see a retaliation shot, or are we going to see... I think we're just going to see a demolishing here of this worm on this brolly. Easy shot for Deathwish with the bazooka and that worm is in the drink, and as quickly as a load of crap took the work lead... Deathwish has pulled it back to a three on three. A load of crap now with the worm on the bottle. What are we going to see? He's got the wind with him if he wants to do a cross map shot here. But he may be looking. No, he is going. To, I wonder if he was going to look to go for the worm to the left. But that would be a risky move as it is so close to two of his worms here. So it's going to be a cross map shot with three wind. Shouldn't be any trouble here if you can get behind him yeah, he's actually swapping it out to the grenades yeah he's going to try and get this behind the worm and then the blast is hopefully going to propel that worm into the water here goes the shots and it bounces too high and that is into the drink and the worm survives this encounter and we are back with Deathwish now with his high left worm. He's looking to get that extra bit of height here with some back flipping. He does indeed. Now, what's he going to do here? He might try and throw a grenade high up in the air and bank it around that curve to try and get it in between these two worms down below. I think he's going to try and do that, though, with the bazooka. Nope, he is going for the grenade. So, yeah, he's going to throw the grenade here and hope to catch the grenade just nicely in this gap where a load of crap has these two worms. There's also a fire barrel right there. He's changing his mind again. I did wonder if he's going to do this because he's got the wind coming back towards him. Can't quite curl it round enough, but there is the damage. And those two worms have been dropped down. What Deathwish has got to be wary of, though, is how quickly is that fire going to burn? He could find his worm in a little bit of trouble if that burns through the scenery there and makes Deathwish's worm on that bottom left there do some sort of fire dancing, then he could end up in the drink himself. So watch that bottom left corner very carefully while that fire is burning. But a load of crap now. Four wind. He's not opting for the grenade this time. Looks like he's going to go for a bazooka shot. But I think he's going to try for the same idea as he did before. He's gone in low, take out the ground below, and the worm slides down and into the water. Good shot from a load of crap. And Deathwish now on the back foot once more with a two on three in a load of crap's favor. See, that fire is tantalizingly close. What can Deathwish do from here, though? He's going to take the hit. The fire just avoids him, and one of a load of crap's worms in the water, but the other one just manages to nestle himself in to where that um, 
sort of destroyed Broly is almost and he is clinging on by his teeth but that actually swings the match in Deathwish 808's favour in terms of health. We're at 126 for a load of crap against 166 for Deathwish 808. As it's a load of crap now, he's got to go for a cross map shot. Got to be very careful with this one though, not to come up short and hit his own worm here. Let's see what happens. It's gone across, it's bouncing, and oh, he took 11 off. He took 11 damage off his own worm there, 10 off Deathwish, so... In retrospect, it probably wasn't the best shot, but he, there wasn't really a lot of other options he could go for there. He's got a very narrow passageway there where his worm is, so he hasn't really got much or many angles, sorry, to play with there. Deathwish with the cross map shot, very good shot indeed, and that is the end of that worm. He uses the wind to his advantage, even though it was a four wind against him. He managed to just curve the bazooka shot just round enough so that he was... Um, yeah, in the right position, see, and it's I now a two-on-one in Deathwish's favour. And you've got to think now that yeah, Deathwish yeah, is in the driving yeah, seat here. His high left worm is in a pretty yeah, safe position. A uh, load of craps so, worm yeah. on the right here has not got any sort of angle at the moment to attack Deathwish's high left worm as the bazooka shot goes cross map. Direct hit. And unfortunately for a load of crap, there was some debris there to stop uh, Deathwish's worm, sorry, from going into the water, or else that could have been a one-on-one -on -one scenario right there. Deathwish, I think, needs to really work on opening up this gap here. He's going to go with a grenade, which is an interesting choice, but the wind is against him, so he's not going to get the most ideal shot with a bazooka. But his best opportunity now is to use this worm to open up a gap that's far too low and unfortunately it's not going to make it because you've got to assume that a load of crap in this turn is going to hit that bottom left worm of Deathwish 808 and bring it back to a one-on-one. -on -one. And at which point it's going to be almost like a sudden death. Both worms are going to have the same amount of health and it's just going to be a matter of survival of the fittest, you've got to believe. A game of chess almost, because neither worm is in a good position. He's actually just testing the water here, it seems. He's going to see if he can get Deathwish's worm. But he's taken out a bit of Deathwish's defences there in the form of that bottle. But the angles I don't think are quite right. So as long as Deathwish stays where he is, and the geometry around a load of crap stays where it is at the moment, then I don't think we're going to actually see much progress at the moment going forward. And... Uh, yeah, I think we need to strap ourselves in for this one, guys, because I think we are going to be here for the long haul in this match. Deathwish once again with the cross-map grenade shot, but as per the previous shot, just a little bit too low and makes no impact whatsoever. I think he probably would have been better with a one-second timer there. A load of crap here, though, has got the win with him, so you have to think he's going to pull out that bazooka, and this is going to be the end of Deathwish's surplus worm here at the bottom. Just hit the pixels underneath, I think, there, but the splatter damage was enough to send uh, the worm into the drink. And now we are one-on-one, -on -one, both worms with 100 health, and you've got to say there is... No easy call here. I don't really see who is going to win. It's going to be a game of chess now for quite some time until we can open up some gap and some of the geometry here. Deathwish almost looking like he's... Maybe instead of going from above, he's maybe going to attack from below, which is actually a smart play because he can restrict the angles that a load of crap can use while he himself can sort of chip away, or try to chip away at least, at where he is stood. And maybe attacking from below as opposed to above will work in Deathwish 808's favour. So, a load of crap here with probably about the most angle he's got here. The wind is against him though, so yeah, I think he's going to have to switch out to the grenade, which he does. But I think he's going to hit the ceiling. No, he clears the ceiling, so that was a good indicator. That was a very good indicator. Maybe with a bazooka shot though, he would have actually got the arc there and we would have seen something a little bit different. So keep an eye on the wind. The next time the wind is blowing right to left on a load of craps turn, then we may see some progress in uh, attacking Deathwish's area here. So Deathwish there takes out that bottom sector. So a load of crap now has really a limited space that he can maneuver on here. 
It's going to drop it down a hair. And you have to think, though, unfortunately for Deathwish, that's probably going to make the next lot of shots fairly difficult, you'd have to think, because there's no geometry there. So unless he can adjust his angles and get a little bit higher, it's not going to be very easy. A load of crap there with pretty much a carbon copy of the shot he played before. Really needs to wait for that win to try and take advantage for that win, but... There's no guarantees in Worms that you will get the wind on your turn. So you've just got to ride it out and see what happens. See what Deathwish is going to do here. He might do a little bit better if he could come down that hill slightly. I'm sure he's frantically using his abacus here to calculate the angles. It's a little bit higher, but he's taking out a little bit of the geometry there, which could improve his angles attacking a load of crap. It's not going to benefit a load of crap once again because he is in such a... He's got that little lip above his worm. So, oh wow, look at that wind. Speaking of good wind, a load of crap is really not getting any sort of look though with the wind at the moment. Everything is really against him. It's going to go a little bit flatter, it seems like, on this uh, this shot. And he's just trying to sort of test where he can throw these grenades and if they hit the sort of scenery, how far they're going to bounce up, and as a result of that where in relation it's going to hit Deathwish 8-8's worm or his area where his worm is stood at least. Cross map grenade shot and we've taken out a little bit more of the geometry there. So Deathwish is chipping away at that area. Like I say, he's just trying to give himself a better angle. I think once he, if he can open that up, it might then allow him an aerial assault. I don't think the... Um, the assault from below is on anymore. Now, a load of crap has got the wind. So this is going to be a first indicator. He's got four wind. This is going to be the indicator. What sort of shot can he get? He has got Death Wish. A little bit of damage. That's 12 hit points. And he's taken out some of that geometry in front of Death Wish. So he's now restricted where Death Wish can maneuver to. But now we've got a retaliation shot with almost similar, similar wind for Death Wish here. Let's see what this is going to do for the bazooka shot. It's kind of a little bit low though, so it looks like Deathwish doesn't quite have the right angle for a bazooka shot. He could have come down there a little bit to give himself a little bit more and a bit of a better angle, but he chose not to. He chose to try it, and of course, in Worms, it's a lot of the time it's about trial and error and seeing what angles are available to you and what you actually get from that. But in that instance, it wasn't quite right. It was just a little bit too low. Now, there we go. That's what I was talking about before. A load of crap. We're throwing the grenade there and it bouncing up off the geometry. And he's been able to actually catch Deathwish 808 there. So, that was a good indicator for a load of crap. I don't think he took out any of the geometry that he actually bounced off. And I have a feeling there that Deathwish accidentally threw or pressed the space bar there. Unless he was just thinking that from what he's got available now, he can't even proceed to kind of take out that top area to give himself better angles. I assume that was a mistake though, but we're not really sure. I assume a load of crap here is going to go to Bazooka as well. I may be wrong. No, he's sticking with the grenade. Doesn't quite get the same positioning that time and unfortunately it doesn't bounce up, so it's straight into the pond. So couldn't capitalise on that almost free turn there. Okay, I think I see what Deathwish is doing here. Deathwish... It is on purpose. He's taking out that geometry below to so that a load of crap isn't able to use that to sort of bounce the grenades up into the air. So, yeah, strategic plays from Deathwish808. Very strategic indeed. And now that has completely um, ended that sort of line of inquiry for a load of crap. He is not going to be able to bounce any more grenades off now that all of that uh, area has been decimated. So now we are back to chess. Deathwish 8 to 8. And there we go. He has dropped a load of crap's worm down. Now this is going to change the gameplay apps completely. Completely changed it because now a load of crap is not no longer restricted by a tight angle on that little area he was in before. So let's see what he can do differently. First shot, unfortunately, though, the wind is against him. So he's not going to be able to use that bazooka. I actually think he'd be able to do some big damage. Let's see where he can position this grenade shot, though. The only thing going against a load of crap at the moment is he's got no experience uh, of previous shots from this position. So it might take him a little a few seconds to get dialed in here as he comes up just a little bit short. 
So a slightly higher on that angle would have been better. But of course, you've got to think that Death Wish now is just going to be constantly changing that geometry and that environment around a load of crap's worms here. So a load of crap is definitely on the back foot here as uh, Death Wish gets a really good shot there. 35 damage on the worm, but a load of crap's going to be slightly on the back foot here, you've got to believe, because the geometry is always going to be changing, so he's always got to adjust his angles. So I think we're going to see from a load of crap his raw worms experience coming into hand here and coming into play it's gonna have to be a bazooka shot you believe with three wind it is indeed so let's sort of see if the years of experience for a load of crap can help him out it's good it's a good shot it drops death wishes worm down now, Deathwish, does that, he's got room to maneuver on the left, I was just about to say, does that little rogue bit of land there, just off to the right, play um, havoc for him, but he can get extra height here, he's got four wind, now I think he's going to go for the grenade because, he's got a nice little bucket to aim for there, so I, I personally would go for a high timer, and just try and concentrate on getting it positioned right. Don't have to worry about like a quick detonation here. Once it's in that bucket, give it time to roll around. There we go. What a shot. And that will reduce a load of crap's worm down to two health. One health, sorry. He got an extra point of damage there from the fall damage, I guess. So a load of crap is definitely on the back foot right now. What can he do from here? Is he able to scale this wall on the left? He is indeed. Now, a direct shot here could win the game for a load of crap. He's got two win with him. The bazooka is probably going to be the best option here. It's in the air. It's slightly too high, and he has failed to move his worm. Now, he's going to have to be praying here that Deathwish hasn't got the win, because you would think Deathwish, on, any, on a good day, would relish the opportunity to pull out that bazooka and hit him and he has got the wind in his favor could this be the game shot from death wish 808 he lines it up he shoots and there we go that is game death wish 808 the game of chess finally ends and it swings in death wish's favor so yeah it was a really interesting game though when they were down to one worm you couldn't really see which direction and whereabouts it was going to be going to there so very interesting indeed. Let's jump over to the next match and uh, see what happens as they take each other on in the next match. All right, so here we go with match number two. It looks like we are going for another pond. Deathwish confirms the choices. And okay, interesting, interesting configuration here. We've got uh, a load of crap. With more worms on the right, but he has a high worm that is a very, very vulnerable position. And Deathwish, Deathwish has got the perfectly placed worm to start with here. He is isolated. He's not going to be able to do much from here. So, yeah, not a great start for Deathwish 808. And you have to think, though, that a load of crap's worm on the left-hand side there is in a very precarious position. Surrounded by almost four fire bar barrels. Deathwish... Um, high left worm there with two mines around him and then there's a couple of things scattered over on the right but death wish here I'm gonna try and open proceedings with a grenade toss bouncing it off this left hand wall and see if you can get it out the gap i guess but that's straight up and down and not the sort of start death wish is going to want to have seen with damaging his own worm and uh putting himself on the back foot the only solace at the minute i guess he can take is that that worm is protected and it's going to take a little bit of time before any of a load of crap's worms will be available to damage that but a load of crap here with his worm at the top got to think he's only really got one option here which is to shoot down on the right hand side just got to be very careful here of his own worms there's one right on that ledge there at the bottom right there's a fire it's going to rain down well there's a big explosions for death wishes worm just watch that fire though keep an eye on that fire bottom right a little bit of that falls on a load of crap's worm and you've got to think that he is in the drink death wish now with the worm on the right wind is with him well we see a retaliation shot we won't he's going for that worm we round all those barrels good shot 
And there we go. There we go. That's fire as well. The fire sends a load of crap's worm into the drink. And so in one shot there, Deathwish has halved a load of crap's worms. It's now four on two in Deathwish's favour, which is, uh, of course, always good to see for Deathwish. A spate of a couple of uh, bad sessions recently, so I'm sure he'll be really happy to be getting a couple of wins behind his belt. But this one is surely going to end things for that worm, and it does, with a nice little grenade shot behind the worm. And he sends him flying into the Dream Lord. Some fire damage on the left-hand side there as well. Some of it uh, from the previous shot has fallen down onto that 52 worm of Death Wish. It's actually opened up a little area on that brolly where a grenade could potentially be thrown in and rolled down. So keep an eye on that area. Death Wish here is going to try and get some impact damage, I think, to push that worm off into the water. Let's see what he can manage. Or is he going to change his mind and going lower? If you get three or four, a little bit undecided at this moment in time. It's going for the lower worm. Good shot. Takes out the protection there of the top of the golf boot and takes 23 damage there from a load of crap's worm. Death Wish was potentially looking at getting rid of that worm at the top, but I think there's probably a little bit too much. Uh, geometry there, sorry, I had to think of what I was saying. Uh, too much geometry there for a load of crap's worm, to, to have affected a load of crap's worm. Not a lot this worm can do other than commit suicide. Wow, I, I, I'm not really sure what he was doing. Just trying to open up the area or something. But, uh, yeah, that really didn't work. I almost think he was maybe trying to create a kind of curved arch at the top there where a grenade would sort of go in and, and loop back around to these worms below. Now, you've got to think that uh, Deathwish has all but got this one in the bag with a three-on-one scenario here. But do remember, it is worms, and anything can happen. We've seen four-on-ones before and uh, gone completely the opposite way by the end of the match. A load of crap here going for the high ground, though. All right, man Biles. We're going to see a grenade <laughs> shot now. Is he going to attack the grenade, the worm below? He is. Down at the bottom. This could reduce the deficit to two on one. If he gets a good shot, he's bazooka instead. That's a great shot, and that is that worm out. The wind, although two against him, wouldn't have really affected the shot too much. He needed it to come down. The wind would have pushed that shot down anyway. So, yeah, very good shot from a load of crap, and... This worm for Deathwish is still pretty isolated. Not really a lot that this worm can do. And he's just going to use the jump rope here. Skip the go. And it's back to a load of crap. Who looks like he's going to have the wind with him. Looking at the way those leaves are falling. Two wind with him. So he can go high here. And take out this worm with a well placed shot here. There is two mines around this worm of Deathwish. So... Low crowd can pull off the shot. This could reduce it to a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see what happens. Unless you manage to get high enough. Still adjusting the angles. 16 on the shot clock. If you get too high, it'll knock me straight up into the roof. Here we go. The shot is good. Hits the mine. The mine goes off, but unfortunately, it bounces the wrong way for a load of crap. But there is still that other mine there that Deathwish has to be really careful of. It was a good shot from a load of crap. Good shot indeed. Now, can Deathwish clear the mine? Is he going to brave it? I don't think he will. Deathwish is known for taking risks, but I don't think that is one he's going to want to take. But he has just totally exposed himself there by... Catching the top of that brolly with the bazooka, I did think it was going to be a tight shot. It didn't look like it was going to quite uh, open up and work out properly, and it certainly backfired on him. Now, a load of crap. It hasn't got the win this time, but a good grenade shot here could reduce it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Slightly, if it goes to one-on-one -on -one as well, slightly in a load of crap's favor because of the... Uh, two more hit points than that worm on the bottom left. But can't quite get the height. He's limited once again for the sort of positionings of that worm. But at the moment, he's getting a free turn. 
because yeah, Deathwish is using that jump rope it, yeah, at the moment. Just, so the elevate a little. let's keep an eye on, so see what sort of developments yeah. and what a load of crap can learn. One wind against him. It's not major, but I don't think he's going to take the bazooka shot. Much better grenade shot that time. Bounces up oh, and just catches behind it. Deathwish. Pushes him down a little bit more and exposes a little bit more of an area. Down to 39 now with the top left worm. Deathwish has got the wind against him, so he's going to have to pull out the grenades here. See what he can do. He's making his way onto the brolly, so he's, he's coming off that wall and exposing himself even more. I don't know that he's going to have enough time after the shot to get back onto that wall, but we'll see. That was a perfect shot with regards to angle and power. It's just far too much on the timer there. I almost think one second timer would have been enough, but... That's part and parcel of the game. You sort of learn as you go. Yeah, Each shot tells you a little bit more and you can make adjustments to the parameters. A load of crap here with the grenade shot. Just hits him and rolls away again. Perfect shot with regards to power and angle. Just the timing of the grenade is a little bit out. But you've got to remember that he's probably going to get a free go here. Deathwish will jump rope with this worm again that can't really do a lot. So a load of crap has got a free turn here. He can reduce down the the, the timings, or he's got the option here of going for the bazooka. The wind is going in his direction. I would be more inclined to stick with the grenade, having just lined that up perfectly. If you can remember the power, reduce the timings. Two seconds. Let's see what he can do. Only 23, but that was a good shot from a load of crap. Everything else went right, and he reduced the timings, and not quite the result. Like I said, not quite the result he would have ex wanted or was expecting, but a good chunk of damage done to Deathwish's worm. Now Deathwish with the bazooka shot, the wind is in his favour. Good arc shot, 45 damage, reducing a load of craps to nine, and a load of crap now is really on the back foot. He's got two shots here though. If he can dispatch that worm of death wishes at the top, then death wishes going to have to be forced to do something with that one that is hiding away there in the bottom left. Let's see what a load of crap can do, though. He's got a lot of options here. He, he could go long with a grenade, and if it rolls down the back, the splatter damage, you would assume, would cause enough or a good significant amount to um, damage the worm. Fortunately, he's come up short that time. But he'll learn. He'll adjust. Deathwish this time choosing not to jump rope though. He's going to open up, I think. He's deciding here. He's enough is enough. He doesn't need to hide anymore. And he wants to. Uh, he wants to have some retaliations and some better angles here at a load of crap. So, this is effectively a load of crap's last free turn as Deathwish brings both of his worms into play here. Yeah, see now. Can a load of crap bring it down to a 1v1 with this shot, though? He's adjusted his angle slightly. It's going to come up short again, unfortunately. So I think he should have maybe brought his worm a little bit more to the end of the ledge there. So uh, Deathwish going to be a grenade shot. Can he get his angles and his timings right? Or is he going to go for bazooka? I mean, the shot will come down if he aims high. Doesn't look like he's going to swap it out. Bazooka shot it is. Cross map, but it's going to come up short. A little bit of splatter damage there for the two health points. Down to seven for a load of crap. Ball is in his court now. Does he go high or does he go low? The wind is with him. He has two wind, so he could go for bazooka. He is going to go for that. Swing his angles out. There we go. That is the 1v1. That was a direct hit. Brilliant shot from a load of crap. Now, what can Deathwish do from this low left position? We've not seen him take a shot at a load of crap from this position yet. So it'll be very interesting to see. He has one wind against him. And I think he feels that that's not going to affect his shot too much. Full power, but it's going to be too low. Let's see what a load of crap can do, because again, this is a load of crap's first attempt at this lower left worm since it has been exposed. 
The wind is with him, it seems. So a bazooka shot could be on the cards. It's four wind. It's going to go up high. Does he feel like he's got better chances with a grenade? It doesn't, doesn't seem like it. A grenade would rattle around in there a bit. I would be more inclined maybe to go for a grenade, but the bazooka's in. Takes out some of the high area. He really did a good shot there to get in between that pixel and that uh, bit of land that's hanging down from the lower left there. But no effect there on Deathwish 808. It's force in my hand. Who is opting for a grenade? Two seconds. He might want to go a bit higher here. Yep, he's going to come up short. Didn't like the look of that angle as it was going out. So back to a load of crap. Uh, fucking lives in it because of Has he learned anything oh, no, from that first shot? Get shot? Looks I'm like the wind is about neutral. No, nope, two different against him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sometimes hard to tell. Though. Sometimes it's really obvious and other times it's quite hard to tell. So grenade shot. Across the map. This is what I thought he would have probably gone the first time. Okay, just a little bit of pixels there that he caught, and it brought the grenade straight down. That's my, to uh, yeah, get it through that gap like he did with that previous bazooka shot, then that would have been about right, I think. Right. About right for a good amount of damage on Deathwish's Worm, who swaps to bazooka to win with him. There we go. Deathwish takes the win once again. Two games very similar there. Both ended up like a game of chess towards the end as each other tried to sort of work out what was the best way to attack their opponent. But Deathwish takes the spoils in today's matches. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back real soon with some more action from these two. But until then, thank you for watching. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.